Welcome to Dragon's Nest with Mr. Crane Fluffy here. Uh, we're playing a game called Dragon's Nest, and it's a very popular MMO back here in SCA, Southeast Asia. And usually, like in Singapore, where I live in, a lot of teenagers play this game. It's very popular all around Southeast Asia, Indonesia, Philippines, Malaysia. A lot of people play this game. Might as well try it out. It's ranked number one in a lot of countries. It's really popular, so I might as well show it to you guys. And here we are in the character creation. So we've got five classes we can play with. The academic, the cleric, the warrior, the sorceress, it's a girl, and the archer. Uh, the archer, warrior, and academic classes are the easiest classes to play. For beginners, you know, who just who are just starting to MMOs, who or people who just want to play the casual, you know, a casual type. And we've got the sorceress who has an into intermediate difficulty. Uh, for people who want to play seriously a bit, you know, want to give themselves a challenge, might as well pick this class. And for the cleric, is the difficult. The cleric is a difficult, the most difficult class to play. In Dragon's Nest, so people who want to play MMO seriously and want to, you know, give themselves a real big challenge, you might as well choose the cleric class. So I'm just gonna choose a warrior class, basic. Yeah. And in the customization here, there's not much customization, but there are still some customization. And I'm just gonna. Do my customization here a bit. Plus, make your boots. Make it rotate for you. There we are. Let's go. Just gonna choose a nickname here. Korean. Ah, twenty-four ten. That's not good. I want to do Fluffy Rina. There we go, 10 characters. And that'll be it. Here we go, let's play. Start game. So, this game is pretty good actually. It has a good storyline. The graphics are pretty good. And the system, the combat system, is not bad. So, in this game will keep you occupied for a while, so well, the storyline begins with two girls who are getting chased by some weird ugly looking shit stuff. And one trips and uh not getting there. Oh, big scary one thing. Uh oh. Oh I shouldn't get raped. By goblins. Oh there we yeah. are. The hero of the day. Don't worry, kid. I gotcha. There you go. So, WSD can move, space to jump. Left click is your basic attack. Right click is your special attack. It's like a kick. Or that. A 1 to 0 is your skills, basically. F is to loot. And alternate is to just show the names of the items or hide them. Just Q is to talk to NPCs. Uh, we got this item here, Rose Pendant. Oh, what well, shape passes out. Um, that'd be, oh, my sword just suddenly just goes, glitches out. Ah, that must be the town. It's a beginner town, the beginning town, for the warrior and the ar archer. Ah, here we are. Ah, uh, that's nice. It's so a good thing about Dracus Nest is that the quest system, it shows you the distance and the arrow, the location. So, I think that's really handy in this game, because a lot of MMOs, especially open world MMOs, uh, you have trouble finding your quest because your quest location because it's such it's so big and you know it's quite hard to do it quite find it and it takes quite a long time 
But for a dragon's nest, it's just pretty simple. Just follow the arrow, and you're there. <laughs> so just hand in this quest here. You have news of Rose. Okay, so, uh, let me know. talk to that guy. Oh, but he's asking me Great weather to work, eh? Let's do this. So, just gonna skip it if you guys don't mind. This fire it's, shall it's burn not, as long as I breathe. <laughs> But this guy got scammed. Please he save Rose. A, he wants a refund. Let's go. Let's give it. To the Please stay some safe. Hound feed from the Shadow Forest Trail. And also we could always use guy. extra help around here. So you can do a lot of side quests and you also do your main quests. One day, yeah. the town will fight until peace so the is yellow restored. One here is the main quest, and the other colors are. Your side quests. So, ah, the inventory system. The, the bad thing about Dragon's Nest is that it gives you very, very little inventory space. And to unlock the other ones, you have to buy them with real money. And that's, you know, a bit unfair for the free to play players. If you play this game, it's gonna. Glorious weather! It's not really. Bye bye! Because you, know, you have to. If you wanna play, if you're free to play player, you have to keep emptying out your inventory, selling everything. This is it's just tiring. But okay, now we're in entering a dungeon, and this game uses a dungeon system. Here, so we have to go to Shadow Forest Path, but you can go to other areas like here. Now lead you somewhere else, but we're going here for now. So you can also choose a difficulty here, and it. Expected EXP shows you how much EXP you might get. I just do a head hard, you know. A lot of EXP is always good. Ah, here we are. So, whoa. So Timothy's hiding behind I the pillar. <laughs> take my duty seriously. Oh uh, yeah, he sent me here. So we have to save Rose. That's right. Matte fragments. Don't worry okay, about me. Matte fragments. Sure, why not? Eliminate all monsters. No nope. So let's just get the skills over top of the guys next. Oh god. Loot. dungeon system where if you kill all, all the monsters in the other in this room then you can go to the next room so it's like a lot of Asian animals they use this system and it's the same with dragon's nest but the good thing about dragon's nest is like 3d like grand chase is practically the same thing but it's 2d well, and dragon's nest is 3d Great 
There's a lot of items that which have stats, which have stat abilities, which change your stats a bit, like HP, MP, attack, defense, that kind of stuff. And here we are. <sighs> Boss stage. So shift and your WASD to dodge. After you finish your dungeon, you can just stay around. If you have any quests in the dungeon area, then you can do that. Like here, Timothy. And after you're done, you can just press F12 to get out. Well, I guess that's what. Well, actually, I got Bro, where can she be? I have to the map. And I've just leveled up. Don't worry about so press F12 me. to exit dungeon. Well, I guess that's it, guys. Thanks for watching me here. And we'll be back, and we'll be back for more. Adios.